Oh, Starsky, have you been a silly boy? Have you been playing with the Modbap Trinity on your own again? And did you make one of your little YouTube videos with it? And did you say it had three drum channels, a kick, a snare, and a hi-hat? Well, that's not quite true, is it? Each of the drum channels are the same, aren't they? The default settings just happen to be a kick, a snare, and a hi-hat, don't they? And they can all do all the sounds, can't they? So we need to make that clear from the start, don't we? Well then, say you're sorry. I can't hear you. That's better. Now let that be an end to it and let's play the video. There's a good boy. Here we've got the Mod Bap Trinity, so called as we have a trifecta of drum sounds, a trio of percussion, a triplet for triplets, a trilogy of drumology. Yes, we've got three drum sounds in a single module and each of these has got four distinct sound engines and a range of inputs for CV control on the fly. In this track, I'm controlling six parameters with CV using the Erica Synths Black Sequencer as my main CV control. And this is controlling the kick drum and the hi-hat tuning, the decay time of the snare and hi-hat, as well as the shape of the snare and the amount of grit on the hi-hat. So if I just play the drums individually, kick drum obviously, and you can hear we're changing the tuning of it. Let's have a listen to the snare. <laughs> a few little odd bits and bobs going on there. Go to the hi-hats. You can hear I've got a little LFO on the grit. It's coming in and out, sounding sort of really gnarly and crusty. And that's the pitch. And that's going to one, two, three, four, five, six inputs on the Trinity, as well as obviously the trigger inputs, which are coming from the Steppy. And if you really want to hear more of the type of sounds that this can make, head over to my Patreon page and become a patron, because I've uploaded a bank of just over 600 samples showing a range of tones, some kicks, hats, snares, toms, claps and stuff. It may be demos more of a range than I can squeeze in on this video alone. I'll just quickly run through the front panel. Let's put them all back on the main out. We've got a kick drum, snare, and a hi-hat and we can select which of these we're editing with shift and press the trigger key. So now we're editing the kick drum. Now we're editing the snare. And now we're editing the hi-hat. And we edit those with all these knobs here, and these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different knobs, all the ones, the big white ones, uh, have got input controls on the CV. If we look here, we've got volts per octave for the pitch, then we've got character, sweep, time, decay, grit, and shape. Now, I'm trying to remember which was plugged into where. And we've got a mix on the bottom right, as well as individual outputs for each of the drums and we can switch those to both the individual and the mix or just to the single individual output on each of them. Plus we've got a USB down here and this is quite unique because we can trigger them from channels one to three or all of them on 16. Plus you've got control, MIDI CC control of all the parameters. So if you're out of modulation sources in your door or you want more live tweaking via the control surface, there are tons of options in here. And that's it at its very basic level, and just knowing that will get you started, but of course it's ModBap, so there's a fair bit more in here. Each of the drum modules has got four sound engines, which you select using this button here. So let's go back into the kick with shift and kick. <laughs> so four distinct engines. 
these are called Block, Heap, Neon and Arcade, which are probably more easily described as Classic, Additive, FM and Noise. And that's all handily explained on these flashcards that you get in the box. And we get those because each of the parameters we control is dependent on what sound engine is selected. They're all generally similar, but have subtle differences. Pitch, for example, is the pitch of the sound on all engines, except for Arcade, where it emulates sample rate reduction. Let's have a little play. So obviously, but if we go to type yeah, <laughs> sample rate reduction, and we've got some additional modes here. We've got cycle and stack. If we use cycle mode, um, if we're on blue, it's random. And if it's on pink, It cycles through them. Plus we've got this stack mode on the top right and this will trigger different sounds together in layers of two or three voices. So when it's not on, we're just getting the kick, getting the kick and the snare, and we're getting all three there. And if we do something like maybe go to the snare, put the snare onto cycle mode and then go back into the kick, put the stack on there. You can hear that we're playing the snare and the snares cycling through the different modes. There's loads of options for all sorts of mad sound creation, particularly as you can modulate everything with CV. So let's have a listen to them then, shall we? Without going through every single permutation and combination, let's see what these, uh, these engines sound like. So we'll start off with the kick, just make it a bit sensible to start with. Sweep and sweep time. Decay, and we've got hold here as well. Then it's clipper. Which is just great. Nice, that isn't it? We've also got this EQ. If we go above 12 o'clock, it's high pass. Go below 12 o'clock, anti-clockwise from there, it becomes low pass. So all very nice. This character knob on the top changes from a sine to a triangle. Tons and tons of stuff. This shape knob adds a second oscillator. And then the grit knob adds FM. And then that moves all the way through to noise and takes out the initial oscillator. So although it's a kick, obviously you've got tons of stuff. speakers. So that's just the kick on just the block. If we move over to additive now, let's add some clipper because I really like it. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Character spreads um, 12 oscillators. Grits introducing FM again. Shape increases the distance between the oscillators. That gives us more bell-like things. Turn that down a little bit. It's all getting a bit loud again. Don't forget, we're still on a kicker yet. So moving over to the third one, that's called Neon, and this one is FM. So that's 
adding modulation. This is changing the FM ratio and shape. And grit again is adding a feedback. Going all the way to noise. Again, loads of things to play with there, but it's definitely an FM engine, isn't it? Some beautiful, beautiful FM tones in there, aren't there? Finally, we've got Arcade, which is essentially noise. Character is a bandpass filter. Pitch, as we saw earlier, is sample rate reduction. Sweep is sort of completely different here because it adds ratchets. So that between the sweep and the time. And spread reduces the sampling interval. Let's just turn that sweep down. And the flashcard said that the shape controls the sampling interval here. Uh, lower settings will repeat less often with the sample rate, which creates metallic sound in timbres or video game like sounds when the pitch is set low. But really, it's just the sort of madness knob. And then grit makes it sound more grainy. And don't forget, we're still just on the kick here. If we just go over to uh, the snare and just mess around for a little bit so you get an idea. Additive. Just trying to give an overall flavour, not going through absolutely everything. This is FM. And then back to, back to noise again. And doing the same with the hi-hat. Introducing FM, adding a second oscillator, changing the shape of the oscillator. Over to additive, same again. Add some more FM to that. All the way to noise. Now over to the FM. Remember that's modulation amount, that's FM ratio. Then over to noise. So just a whistle stop tour of how it works. Hopefully that gives you a really good indication. Loads of things to play with. Seven different CV inputs for each of the drum sounds. Separate outs or both. 
a very, very, very nice little drum module. And I can't believe some of the belting kicks that you can get from it. Rather, rather lovely. Uh, and twins with the Osiris, it's a great little pair actually. So on this we've got three drums, uh, or three whatevers. And on the Osiris, don't forget, you've got um, the sub oscillator plus the main oscillator, so you've got loads to play with. Um, that intro track was all done just playing on these two with a little bit of delay from the uh, Qubit Nautilus. So I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, please think about subscribing, ring the bell, join me over on Patreon. I've got hours worth of tutorials helping you to get the most out of your synths, plus some patches and some samples, and bits and bobs, you know. Get over there, get in touch, and, uh, and I'll see what I can do to help or whatever. It's just all really nice to help to support the channel. So I will see you next time.